Now, just to be, <laughs> well, we, we won't say anybody can build a large ship, but you have to do more than just build a large ship. These ships were designed, and, and the intent of the Armada was to be able to stay out on the oceans for, you know, six months and, and even longer at a, at, at a stretch. Normally about three months, but six months at a stretch because you're dealing with all the adversities out in the ocean. So you have to do more than just build a ship that large, five times larger than Columbus's ships. But uh, you had to build a ship that will withstand uh, storms, hurricanes, typhoons, winds, you know, and, and, and uh, running aground and, and, and just all kinds of fog and just all kinds of things, lightning and all kinds of things that you, mutinies and just all kind of madnesses that you will run across uh, out in the deep, deep blue ocean. Uh, so you, 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 you have uh, these uh, 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 Chinese, uh, the government, and this is a government back, back program, who had some of the, you have to have the best mathematicians, uh, uh, the best uh, engineers, uh, the best designers, and uh, all kinds of things to get these ships working. So one of the, three of the key factors that they dealt with to make the ships steady was something we call bulkheads. Now, you can imagine a piece of bamboo. And, and the bamboo is, uh, you know, has these, is in sections. So if you knock a hole in one piece of the bamboo, the bamboo will still float because it's in, it's in airtight or watertight uh, uh, sections. And, and, and this psychology was used to build these are uh, uh, this the, the 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 Chinese ships. They put bulkheads in. Now a bulkhead is a wall. In a ship, the ship walls they call them bulkheads. So you got several walls running from stem to stern. That's from the bow to the stern. You got all kinds of walls built in to the ship. So if one is breached, in other words, you knock a hole in in, in the side of of the ship, the, the, the other parts uh, will float. And they also had uh, watertight compartments and, uh, you know, barrels and all kinds of things that will, if, if, the, if the ship strikes uh, some object, uh, the, hole, the hull is breached, the thing will still, the thing will still float, or the, the junk, in this case, will still float because it's it's built into the design. In fact, the Titanic had bulkheads, but the bulkheads didn't run all the way up. And because the way the ship was cut, you know, it was they they, they had breached several several of the bulkheads. Some of the they did lose some of the the Chinese junks, but for the most part, uh any little thing wouldn't wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't destroy the ship. Most of the English ships at the time were open. At the bottom, the part that was in the water, the hull, was pretty well open. And you could see from one end to the other. And if, if a little hole or a hole, is, or the, the hull is breached, then water comes in and the whole thing goes down. But the, the Chinese ships, uh, because of one of their major inventions, and they're still using this today, is something we call bulkheads. These walls that started at watertight walls that started at the bottom of the hull and went all the way up. So uh, the water is caught in, into these, and, and so the, the, the ship is still floating, and they could repair and replace things as 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 they moved along. And they are still using these bulkheads uh, today in small and large ships, and sometimes they use uh, air. <laughs> Air compartment. Even in canoes, they have a little uh, compartments. They don't, they don't use bulkheads, but uh, they put airbags in, in into the compartments. You know, so it'll it'll keep the thing afloat.